Hey everyone, this is Mike with Viglink, and I'd like to cover the new transaction reporting API we've made available to Viglink publishers. We know that the most important thing for any publisher is knowing how much they've earned on their clicks. Second to that are the transactions for those clicks and earnings. For some time now, we've been working on the transaction reporting API that will help all publishers from content to coupon and cash back sites reconcile their earnings from their clicks with a bit of coding skill. The Transaction Reporting API gives you relevant data about the entire click purchase funnel and allows you to filter and group the results by a number of facets. Most of you will be happy to hear that we allow you to filter these results by the CUID and SUBID, which is what makes click to commission reconciliation possible from the link monetization API over to the Transaction Reporting API. So let's cover some, some uh, practical use cases. If you're running a site where you need to assign revenue to another party or department, you need the transaction API to tell you which clicks received revenue. This can be done by assigning a specific CU ID or sub ID to each outbound click uh, that comes from the links monetization API. And then searching for that same field in the transaction API. You can also use this to get a full export of your commission events for additional processing and data mining. Bear in mind that this data is not static and it's subject to customer returns and commission reversals. This data can change on a rolling 90-day basis and you can use the commission ID to keep track of the transactions over time. The commission ID can be found in each transaction result from the Transaction Reporting API. So when pulling the whole entire transaction history inside of a date range, remember that pagination with the report ID is the best way to get through all the transactions. Be sure to wait no longer than one minute between requests, otherwise the report ID expires. So essentially how this works is you make your first request with all of the parameters that you want to use for your transaction report, including the click date start, click date end, or uh, even specific merchant IDs. And then at the bottom of that report, you'll get a report ID. So all subsequent requests will include that report ID and it'll continue to give you back the number of pages you requested in each, re in each subsequent request. Finally, this endpoint is updated daily. So we invite you to run daily jobs to gather the most recent data after 12 p.m. in the afternoon Pacific time. See the description below for links to the documentation and where to find your secret key for API access. Subscribe to future updates, like this video if you feel informed, comment or email us at supportaviglink.com with any other questions. Thanks for watching.